I mean, it's just basically an honor. I mean, couldn't have wrote a better story than this. Just growing up in Minnesota, being drafted by the hometown team, and then not only having the draft here. So it's a fun time for not only my family but myself too, and it's an honor to be drafted by this organization. How nerve-wracking was it to go through that second round, knowing that you could go anytime? Yeah, I mean, it was a lot more stressful than the first round, but I mean, just wanted to be over with. It's been a long, stressful process, and. Just have it, have it be done. Did you have any idea they were trading up to get you? Did you feel when they made the move? Did you think you were going to hear your name? Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, because they, 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 talk, they talked about it a little bit because uh, I met them last week and they said that they were going to try and get me. And once once that deal went down, I had, to, I had high hopes and they met them. So. Jill must be, your whole family must be excited, but what was it leading up to this? Like, you know, any advice from your family? Like, keep the nerves down or what? No, they just, just I mean, nothing really. They just, uh, but, um, no, nothing really. They just live in the moment and have fun with it. It's to be kind of a mixed bag playing at home. The expectations go up a couple of nights. Yeah, I know, but the fans will be behind your back, especially being the hometown guy. And we got probably the best fans in the whole, in the whole NHL here. And well, I got a lot of work to do before I get to the NHL, but hopefully someday I'll get there. Not many people can say that not only were they drafted by the hometown team, the draft is in their hometown. How has this whole experience been for you? I mean, it's been, it's a, I mean, like I said, it's a, I couldn't have written a better story than this. Um, yeah, that's basically it. I couldn't have written a better story. Mar, I know you haven't decided what you're going to do next year yet. Will you talk to the Wild at all as to which league you might go to to kind of help you out? Yeah, that was my plan. I'm, I'm going to talk to them right after this and get, get a couple of ideas from them. Uh, it's been a long, long month, so I haven't really had any time to think about it yet. But uh, hopefully, uh, we're going to decide early July. So. Your dad's team has always been focused on your life, but have you been a wild fan growing up here? Yeah, obviously, being a hometown guy, you got to be. Uh, going to the games is just it's fun. And I've, always, I've always rooted for them, and they've always, they've always um, done well, and I'm happy to be a part of this organization. Tell us about your game. Um, I'm smart. My, my biggest attribute is my hockey smarts. Um, and my hockey sense. I'm a good finesse forward, but also I'll do the gritty things. I'm a hard worker, and I'll do whatever it takes to play in the NHL. What did your dad say to you after the pick? He said congrats, and he had tears in his eyes, so I mean, it was a good moment for me and my family. You're feeling relieved right now? You can enjoy the rest of the day? Yeah, this, this whole process has been so stressful, and it's just nice to finally get it over. And then now the hard work comes, and the marathon's only beginning. When you heard your name, what was the feeling? What's that like when you hear it's actually happening? It's just a weight, weight lifted from your shoulders. Um, and it's, I mean, it's something you've been working for your, for, for your whole life. And I mean, just getting your name called is, is a great experience. But I'm not, now I know that, that this is where the hard work start, has to start. And, uh, and the marathon's only beginning. Is it surreal to have the jersey on right now? Yeah, it's, it's, it's cool. Considering all the water runners are free. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to answer that. <laughs> so. What will you do to celebrate? Um, my whole family's in town and probably just celebrate with my friends and family and who knows, it's, it'll be a long day, a long night. So. You almost didn't hear your name because once they said, well, he's out of high school, the place kind of went crazy, huh? <laughs> yeah, but it's, uh, that's good. That's good. I mean, fans are happy and so it's... Uh, Every kid grows up in Minnesota wanting to play for Minnesota. Uh, now you're going to be playing for Minnesota, but a different Minnesota maybe than you thought a few years ago? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Um, you, ne you never know what trades happen, but I mean, happy a part of the organization. I still got a lot of work to do. Now you think and still you want to play college uh, before you turn pro? Oh, yeah, no doubt about that. Huh. That's always been in the back of my mind. I've always wanted to play college. Hopefully someday I'll win a national championship, but I, mean, I don't know how long I'll be in college, but I'll play all four years if I have to and go from there. Does this change your thinking uh, as far as where you might go? Uh, not at all. It's my decision and it's what I want to do. What's your time frame for making a decision? Probably soon. Uh, I just want to get the draft over with and get that out of the way and then probably by the end of the summer. Did you know that they had that trade coming or did you when they announced the trade that you think here it comes? I didn't know they had the trade coming, but I mean, once they traded it, I, I thought here, 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 my name come, here, my name's gonna be called, and that's what happened. Well, you dream of this moment your whole life. You, know, you always want to be that kid. How does it measure up when you actually? I mean, it's it's what every kid dreams of, and 
I mean, it's, it's a surreal feeling. Um, I guess it's indescribable. Um, I mean, yeah. is, there, is there new pressure now to perform, just being, being the Minnesota kid on the Minnesota Wild? Yeah, I think there's going to be more pressure for me than other players because just I'm the hometown kid. And, but also the fans are going to be behind your back. And whenever you play a game, they're, they're going to be rooting for you a little harder than most of the guys. So it'll be fun. Well, when you walked in here last night, did you did you have any idea that the Wild were going to make this kind of splash they've made uh, over the first two days? No, I didn't. I mean, I met with them last a couple weeks ago, and they, they said they had and I, they wanted to pick me, and they were going to do all they could do all they could to try and get me. And and once they once they traded that pick, I knew that I was going to have a chance. Terry, how was your visit to Pensacola? I mean, how, how was how was it cool there? I really liked it. I mean, it's beautiful. I mean, I don't get out of Minnesota much. I don't get out of Minnesota much, and that was the most beautiful country I've seen. And it, it, all the facilities are, are really nice, and, the, and the great, got a great coaching staff, and uh, they always have a good team and a good organization. So, I mean, it'll be a tough decision, and Des Moines is good too. I mean, they're in the USHL, and they've got yeah, a great barn and a great atmosphere in the barn, and uh, I'm going to be either way, I'm going to become a better player wherever I go. How would you describe how you feel in one or two words? I'm relieved and. Uh, happy.